Hi folks, today's video is about a good morning routine for Samsung and other Android phones. I decided to do this video today because I see the previous one I did for my iPhone has been quite popular and now that I've moved to Android I don't have the iPhone anymore. And the other reason is that the app screen copy, if you look over here top left the icon, Screen copy is just updated to version 2, which now means that audio is actually forwarded directly through with the screen capture. So it's something I thought, you know what, let me just try that out as well. Maybe the timing's very good. The good morning routine I was looking at previously is I wanted something that was going to wake me up in the morning as my alarm, giving me the time, telling me what calendar appointments I had for the day, reminders, give me a rundown of the weather and then also just read some news headlines. So let's just go full screen. And what I wanted to show here was, is that although on Bixby now, we've got some quite sort of nice features, they've expanded quite a bit on Samsung itself, the, the Bixby routines. But part of the problem you've got is if you go to edit here and you say add action, there is actually nothing here that really reads the news. There is some very basic stuff and I can just show you quickly under alarms as well. If I go to say a test alarm I was trying out, on the sounds, I'm on ringtone at the moment, but if you went here to Bixby Alarm, you'll see there, all you've still got at this stage is it'll read out the current time and the weather forecast for you over the music as the alarm rings. But it's not actually giving you the news and, you know, the various other things that I was looking for. So Bixby is not quite sort of doing it yet. So in a nutshell, really, how I've done this is I'm using actually Google Assistant in the end. And at the end of the video, I will play back to you how it's working. And then also just give two ways of triggering it as your alarm. But what I wanted to show you now was really is how I set it up. How you're going to go about setting this up is you do need to set it really all up in Google Assistant, although you'll be able to trigger it from the Samsung alarm side. So you start up Google Assistant, you click on the icon over there, and you go down until you find Routines, which is, say, there. Now, you should, by default, there should be a couple of sort of sample routines here already, things like bedtime, commuting home, commuting to work, and there should be already one called good morning. I found one already, actually. So it, it, it should be a default or standard one. If it isn't, you'd go up here to new, and you would choose a new personal one, and you would get a screen something like this if I click on it. It's obviously, it's active at the moment. So you could use any of the trigger words just to trigger this by voice if you wanted to. And you can leave it that way because you could trigger it any time, you know, that you wanted to. I had another trigger that I've set here ready for, for time when I was testing. And we'll come back to that a bit later. But the important part really is the actions. There will very likely be two or three, four actions here already. Things like possibly the weather and calendar and reminders. Those are sort of the standard ones. But you'll see in total, these are the actions that I've got set at the moment for the routine to trigger. So it's just going to set the, the phone volume to the media volume and ringer volume to 70% in case it was a bit too quiet. It's going to play a chime. It's selecting here, tell me about the weather, tell me about today's calendar, tell me about today's reminders that I've got set up, which could be tasks or anything else, and then play the news. So how you would go about, if you don't have all of these, is you would just click here on Add Action. And you'll see there's a couple of categories of action here already. The ones you're really going to be interested in is, this is where you would 
click to set the volume. But the one we'll probably look at really here is the get info and reminders. What you're going to be ticking on here is things like, tell me about the weather. If you've got a commute in the morning, you could tick that on as well. I don't have a commute, so I've got it unticked. Tell me about today's calendar appointments. That'll be this one, for example. Or you could do tomorrow's as well. You can add as many of these as you want to. It's just going to take a bit longer, really, to sort of get through the list. Tell me about today's reminders. You don't need the time because when the routine kicks off, it does give you the time and a greeting already. But I did add on here, play a delightful chime. You could have added a joke. And I forget what the last one was over here. If you wanted to, you could also make a custom announcement. You would go into that second one and say, make an announcement. And you would edit the action here. I mean, you, you know, you could have some sort of custom greeting or something else if you wanted to. But I've got the default. There is already a default greeting, so I left it as it is. So once you've selected over there, and you'd said done and saved it, you'd go back to here and you should see the actions that you'd selected. They should be listed here. Just a tip, put play the news last because the reason is these other ones are all fairly quick, but play the news can play up to about five or six minutes depending on which news, news service you've chosen and we'll get to showing how we select the news service now. But I just make sure I've got it lost. And if you want to know how to get them lost, you can take these handles and just grab these and put them in a different order as well. Or if you click, you've got the sort of selection as well. But I've got it in the order of set the volume, play the chime, tell me about weather, calendar, reminders, and then the news last. So that's really it. There is also a, a device for audio. Uh, this is really for the speakers. So mine does play on the bedroom speaker in the morning. But if you don't have speakers, it should play on your phone. And once you've got that, you can really just save that routine. And, you, you know, if you look at your list of routines, it should be there. The only other two things you really need to worry about after this is the triggering to make it an alarm and also selecting your news service. So the news service is set by region as well. So if we go back here to where you found the routines and so on under personal assistant, just keep going down further. Until you get to news, preferred news sources. Again, you could choose more than one if you wanted to, but I'd suggest one. I've got Reuters five minute news briefing global for the world. You could just delete this one. You can move them and you can add shows. This is how you'd add if you don't have anything. Then you'd see under general, you've got, you know, a whole bunch of options there for news. You've got technology, business, sports, the world. And you'll notice now also because I'm in South Africa and I've got my region set, I do also see something, for example, like Jacaranda FM Sport, which is a local radio station. So like I said here, this will depend on or sort of what you're seeing here will depend on, you know, what, what region you're actually in. So there's politics, science, health, art and lifestyle, national and local. So ideally one or you know, if you've got a lot more time to play, then add more down here. I suspect you could even add podcasts and so on as well, actually. But um, let's just go back and up and have a look at how to trigger. So in summary, you can, you can either trigger from inside the Google routine. So obviously, if you don't have a Samsung with the Bixby alarm and all the rest of it, you could just go into your routine You choose the routine, good morning, or whichever one you want to set. You'd go here as this is under starters now. Leave the manual because that will always just trigger whenever you say it. Not a problem leaving it there. It doesn't do anything unless you trigger it with the action words. But 
if the time is set, you'd set your region, you'd select your time that you wanted to go off, you'd say if you wanted to repeat every morning or just weekdays, and that, that essentially is the trigger. If I left this as it was now and I saved it, it's going to go off every day at, at 17.15, but I could go and set it, say, for, well, I only get up at about 9 o'clock, or well, actually, you know, about 9, quarter past 9, you'd say set. And that's it there with my alarm. Now I'd be triggered by the Google Assistant itself. But the other option, let's just go out of it, save. So the other way to trigger it is through one of the Samsung routines itself. It's got these various modes and routines you can you can trigger. So you would just go through to wherever you've got your modes. I've just got them in a subdirectory, but there's a thing called modes and routines. Click on it and you choose routines. And what you're going to be doing is just setting up a new routine called say good morning. So let me just delete this one quickly. So I would go up here to the plus. And what's going to trigger it? I'm going to say it will be not a start manually because that'll be a, a click action or something. You could choose a wake up time. Okay, it's got to automatically detect it, I see at the moment. That's not maybe necessarily going to work for everybody. So let me just go back here. Just choose maybe specific time, I think. And you choose whatever the time is that you're going to set it for. You could, of course, also take sunrise or sunset as a time. And you can also disable for public holidays. And you could choose otherwise which days of the week it is. And you'd say done. So that's going to be your, your trigger now to kick off this routine. And it says here, and what routine do you want to do? So obviously you don't have a Bixby routine that you can choose now from these various options. So just go down. Oops. You're going to basically look for apps. There it is. Click apps. And then it's asking you really, and then, and you say now you want to open an app or do an app action. So there's an action obviously within Google Assistant you want. And you can just type in there, Assistant. Now, don't click on Open Assistant because that's going to open the app. What you want to choose actually is My Day. That should be a standard routine that, that links already to the Good Morning routine. That's what I found. It was already by default set up this way. So you just choose My Day, Done. And that's really sort of it. So this is going to trigger at whatever time you've set it as the alarm. And then it is going to execute an action. And the one is under Google Assistant. It's called My Day. And you save. Uh, you can choose a different icon if you wanted to. And you can just call it again. Morning wake up or whatever you want to call it. Oops. And there it is actually, morning wake up with a little icon that I chose over there. So this is an automated one at the moment, so I haven't got a manual trigger for it. So it will also go off. So you need to choose between which way you want to trigger it. Do you want to trigger it through a Bixby routine like this, or do you want to set it within Google Assistant itself? Obviously, if you've got a non-Samsung phone, then you can just use the Google Assistant trigger that I showed. So I think let's just listen to a demo then of what it actually sounds like. I've just set a little shortcut over here on my phone's home screen to trigger that routine. You're going to obviously see a lot of visuals now. You won't normally probably see this or you might not see it if it's triggering in the morning with your screen off. You'll probably just hear the audio or you might see, I'm not too sure, I can't remember now if it does show it. My eyes are normally closed when I wake up but this is essentially what my one sounds like. And yours will obviously be now personalized, you know, for you.
Good evening, Dani. The time is 7.22 p.m. It's 18 and clear. Tonight, the forecast is around 17 degrees and cloudy. There's one entry for today. At 8 p.m., you have shopping bags for PNP. You have two reminders. On the 18th day every month at 1.30 p.m., backup Pi SD cards. On the 18th day every month at 11 p.m., lubricate gaming chair on 18th. Here's the latest news. From Reuters 5 Have Minute a wonderful News day. Briefing, Global, at 7.17 p.m. There's a little bit of an overlap there. And now, with round-the-clock updates from Reuters journalists, here are today's top stories. The International Criminal Court issues an arrest warrant for Putin. First Republic Bank sparks renewed fears. So what you're going to see water. there now is that you'll see it's going to play for about six minutes of news. So again, it depends on which, which news source you've actually chosen that's going to sort of determine how long you know yours is going to play for and that's really it it will run through that and it'll obviously just end off whenever it finishes depending on how many things you've chosen but yeah so i hope that's sort of of some interest to you as i said there was quite a bit of interest from the iphone guys for on their side using the shortcuts routine and maybe this helps a couple of samsung and android users achieve exactly the same sort of thing for their morning wake-up routine so yeah, stay safe out there and I'll see you in my next video.